guess a circus has like elephants, right? <laughs> and I guess a carnival has like a Ferris wheel. <laughs> okay. But I'm telling you something right now. They both got sawdust. Roust about. Yeah. Roust about. Get ready to laugh as Tom Hanks takes on the voices and quirks of Hollywood icons and more. From his spot-on Ron Howard impression to a perfect Elvis moment, Hanks proves he's a natural at bringing other personalities to life in the funniest ways. While promoting his movie Sully on The Graham Norton Show, Tom Hanks shared what it was like working with Clint Eastwood as a director. Known for his no-nonsense approach, Eastwood keeps things incredibly understated on set. When you're in a Clint Eastwood movie, you don't even know the camera's rolling, and you just hear over your shoulder, All right, go ahead. <laughs> You do it, and sometimes you're doing some pretty hot stuff, and you just keep doing it until you hear him say, that's enough of that. <laughs> and, that's, and then you move on, and you're on to the next setup. During a David Letterman interview, Hanks also had a great time impersonating Elvis, sharing his version of the King's unique vocal style before launching into a song. Broke out into a song about to the roust the bow. Uh -huh. Roust the bow. <laughs> well, he broke it, and I said, okay, all right, I'm sorry. Okay, now let me get this straight. Now. I guess a circus has like elephants, right? <laughs> and I guess a carnival has like a Ferris wheel. <laughs> okay. But I'm telling you something right now. They both got sawdust. Roust about. Yeah. Roust about. In an appearance on The Tonight Show, Tom Hanks brought along an action figure of Jay Leno and didn't miss the opportunity to do a spot-on impression of Leno's distinctive voice and mannerisms. Did you hear about that guy out in Malibu that uh, <laughs> they lost his house again? Yeah, Can you believe way. that that happened? <laughs> We're going to be here all week, folks. Coming up next week, we got the... <laughs> in an interview, Tom Hanks shared a funny experience working with Stephen Graham, who was supposed to help him learn a Scottish accent for a role. But Graham was constantly distracted by his phone, which Hanks couldn't help but imitate. Because when I'm on the phone too, I don't He is the on kids. the phone all the time. <laughs> Only in the chair, no, in makeup. Uh, uh, chair and makeup. How are you? I love, I love the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Lord. On The Ellen Show, Ellen dared Tom Hanks to give his take on Meryl Streep's portrayal of Margaret Thatcher from The Iron Lady. Up for the challenge, Hanks jumped right into character, delivering his own version of Streep's Thatcher. I have done battle every single day. This lot seem bound to do the same, but they will rule the day. <laughs> On The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, Tom Hanks shared a memorable experience chatting with former President Barack Obama. Colbert, curious about their conversation, pressed Hanks on what they talked about. Hanks, with a grin, recounted the president's response when things got classified. We were, we were, there was a couple of times we said, hey, what about the thing with the stuff and the thing like that, Mr. President? And he said, you know, I'd like to share that with you, but it's classified. And he was not, he was not joking. Wow. Yeah. And the thing and the stuff is about Russia, right? <laughs> On David Letterman's show, Tom Hanks shared a hilarious story from his early days in showbiz involving legendary comedian Slappy White. Hanks, eager to help out, was given the task of loading Slappy's luggage into the car which included a prized set of golf clubs. But things went sideways when he accidentally damaged them. Slappy White is a comedian in Vegas. He's a legendary show business figure. I was incredibly excited to take his huge suitcase. Now, Slappy, Slappy yells everything. Uh -huh. And he did to me. Take my suitcase out of my car! <laughs> I'm trying to push the trunk of okay. his car closed, and I know that I put his suitcase on top of his golf club. And from all across the parking lot of here, you are bending the shaft! <laughs> I swear, Slappy White came running about 400 yards like this. <laughs> you are bending the shaft! <laughs> hey, Golden Throwback fans, ready to take a trip down memory lane? Perfect Fifth has you covered with graphic tees that celebrate the music you love. Check out this cassette-era design, a tribute to those mixtape days. Or vibe with Melting Vinyl Sunset, bringing back the golden age of records. And... For the Patriots, Stars, Stripes, and Strings combines music and Americana in a style all your own. Get it for yourself or as the perfect gift for the music lover in your life. And right now, get 30% off your order with code THROWBACK30 at checkout. Click the link in the description to shop now. Perfect fifth. Wear the rhythm. Relive the moments. With almost four decades of friendship between them, Tom Hanks and director Ron Howard 
know each other better than most. In fact, their time working together has given Hanks plenty of material for a spot-on Howard impression. Ron uh, came up to me and said, I, I, look, 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 I, 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 I. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Okay? It's okay. I know what you're doing. You're trying to score. You're trying to score. You think it's funny to try to score. Your job is not to score. Ron, could, could you give us a little juice on this? Because the helicopter had to hover and go away. So Ron got, okay, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> so we say, ready, rolling, and action. And we run in and we start doing our dialogue and it's very intense. And he's looking at the monitor right this, so we're right there. And so, hovering, drone, it came back, it's gone. <laughs> Now it's back! It's back! <laughs> Tom Hanks shared a story on Jimmy Kimmel Live about the advice he received from actor Bruce Dern, who once gave him a funny but cautionary tale about the risks of certain movie roles. Bruce Dern, yeah, he said, you'll Bruce kill John Man, Wayne. I, I couldn't get a job for like five years after I killed John Wayne. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. It was a real problem for me. What's your favorite Tom Hanks celebrity impersonation? Let us know in the comments below.